Hey guys, how are you today? I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna show you how to do a whole chicken. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the difference between a rock crock and a stone or stoneware. But first, I'm gonna make, um, here we go, a um, personal sangria. So I'm gonna wait just a couple minutes till you guys, hi everybody. So you get on. Um, yes, I need to get my wine bottle opener. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right. Hi, Susie. Are you there? Oh, I must drop my thing. Hi, Susie. I love you. I miss you. Hey, guys. I'm going to show you um, a few things today, and hi Sandy, and um, first I'm going to show you the wine bottle opener because it's amazing, it's my best friend, I'm joking, I don't drink that much, honestly, I don't, um, I might have had a mimosa at brunch this morning, but that was about it, but I want to show you guys um, a bunch of stuff today, so I hope you're, you're in for it. Um, I'm going to show you first how to make a single serving sangria because it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world when I do have a drink. Hi everybody. Um, so I'm going to turn this so you guys can see. <laughs> Look at my little chicken back there. Hmm, see it right there? <laughs> Poor little guy. He's hanging out. Okay. Um, golly, I'm sorry. PETA would like rip me a new one. Okay. Um, here we go. So wine bottle opener. You just take the cutter. Turn it. Oh, I didn't do it. There we go. You gotta press it, Christina. Okay, press it and that pops right off. Okay, so that's the little cutter. And then we're gonna use the wine bottle opener. So you just lift it up. Okay, so it just does just up and down motion. So put it on top of your wine bottle. Close it. So hold it together. Watch this magic. Push it down. What, what, look. Yes, and you're done. Push it down again. Pull it up, and the cork comes off. Yes, that's the easiest wine bottle opener ever. Okay, so now we have our wine. I love a good Moscato. I mean, not a good. I mean, this is just barefoot, but use your favorite Moscato, okay? All right, so I'm going to take my... <laughs> hey, Shelby. I may be coming up to your neck of the woods next week. Stay tuned. Okay, um, so this is actually my cup that I got from Conference. They put our little logo on there. Isn't that so nice of Pamper Chef? I mean, yes, it is. Super smart. Okay, but this is our um, water infusion bottle. And it also works, uh, I don't have kids, but a mommy sippy cup, just saying. Um, so you can do, obviously, your tea. You can put your tea in here with lemons. Delicious. <laughs> Really? I know, I know. I did post a little bit on our team page. I know. I mean, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it, right? Okay, anyway. So you can do your water. You can infuse your water. I have a bunch of frozen fruit here that I froze. Um, put it out on a sheet pan. You guys know how to freeze fruit, right? Put it on a sheet pan. Put it in the freezer. When it's frozen, take it out. Put it in a bag. I mean, it's easy. And you'll save yourself a ton of money. Don't buy the bagged fruit, okay? It's just a waste of money. Do it yourself. Hi, Becky. Okay. Um, all right. I know it's like little, I need to, I think not look at that because it's like totally distracting me, but it's good. I love you guys. Okay. So we're going to um, <laughs> do a sangria. So I'm going to turn you guys back down here. I need like a cameraman. I always see all my friends. They all have all these camera people like holding a phone for them. I got nobody. Nobody. Okay. Look, I'm going to put uh, some of this fruit. There's some raspberries and some blueberries and some strawberries. Don't worry, you guys. We're going to get to the chicken. And what's the difference between all that right there? See that? Mm-hmm. Cute. All right. We're going to put all this in here. Not all of it, but some of it. I'm going to get some of this pineapple. All right. So I grew up on Long Island. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, I lived there until I was about 20. When I get around my family, it comes out. My accent, that is. <laughs> and um, I always say I like a good spritza. You like a good spritza. So I'm, this is like a spritza with some frozen fruit, but we could call it a sangria, okay? 
whatever you want to call it. So all you have to do is add some wine. I always do equal portions, so half and half. And I don't want you guys to think I'm an LP, so watch this. So just a little bit of wine. Look, it already is taking on that gorgeous color. And then add Sprite. You can do a diet Sprite. You could do club soda. You could do seltzer. You could do, ooh, you could do the Pellegrino, the flavored Pellegrino. Mmm, okay. I got Sprite because that's easy today. And just fill, ooh, whoop, fill it up. And you guys, instant sangria, spritzer, whatever you wanted to call it. And your um, your soda and your wine doesn't even have to be warm, um, cold because that fruit is frozen and it's gonna chill it right up. So you guys loving that? <gasps> yes, Katie, my girl Kelly. Let me talk about Kelly. I love Kelly. Um, She's awesome, and I need to go watch that video because she's told me she was going to do one. Um, but, yeah, that's my friend Kelly. We're going to do an open house on uh, November 5th at my house. Pampered Chef 31, yes, bringing them together. Do a little open house. Okay, so look at my pretty sangria. Look, and you can just tell everybody it's flavored water. If you go to the beach or the, the park or something, just don't drive. No drinking and driving. We're not doing that. Try it. Mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, these are just sitting out here, so I thought I'd talk about them real quick before I go into the whole rock cock thing. I mean, why haven't I had these before? These are freaking amazing. Look at that little... Mm-hmm. Yep. Now that's delicious. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you guys didn't tune in to watch me eat, but I had to share these little, the devil. That's what these are. Okay. Back to the task at hand. So who loves the wine bottle opener? Hi, Carla. Hi, Gina. Charlotte. Did you open up your stuff yet? Are you using it? <gasps> Yay. Hi, Beth. <gasps> hi, Lisa. I love you. I miss you. It's probably been like a whole day since I talked to you. Lisa, and there is wine in my cup today. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to this right here. So let me move this over so you guys can see. Yay! So I always get the question, Christina, what is the difference between the rock rock and the stoneware? Right? Thank you, Francesca's. Like, super cheap. But thank you. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to look like, I guess this looks pretty, right? You don't have to spend a whole lot. Anyway, we're going to move on from that whole entire, I can go and I should be able to, but I'm not. Okay, so the difference between rock crock and stoneware, hmm, there we go, is a bunch of things. So everybody knows that the stoneware, our amazing stoneware, um, this is the red one right here. This is our deep cover baker. Stoneware goes in the oven and in the microwave. Did you guys know that? You all knew that, right? Give me some thumbs up. Hi, Karen. Oh, Karen, I love you. It's like we're meeting right now. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Um, so the deep cover baker and all of the stoneware, did you guys know all stoneware goes in the microwave if you can fit it? Yes, in the microwave and in the oven. Up to 450 degrees. I thought it was 400, but I'm wrong because I just looked on my handy dandy app that even if you're not a consultant, you could totally download the Pamper Chef app, by the way. It's awesome, and you can scroll through all the products and make a wish list, all sorts of stuff. Well, I don't know if you can actually make a, a legit wish list on the app, because I know some of you are going to be like, where's that app, or where's that tab? Not really. You can make a little list on your notepad, okay? But on the app, there's all the, um, you know, stats of all the products and what we, the care and use for it. So the stoneware goes in the oven up to 450 degrees. I did not know that. And do not use soap on your stoneware. It'll actually cause it to dry and crack. And you always want to cover your stoneware at least 70%. That's just my number um, I made up. I don't know if it's actually true. But I always say cover it at least 70% so um, it doesn't crack in the oven. So, like, let's say you have a big bar pan and you want to do a couple chicken breasts or thighs or whatever. Um, don't put it all on one side, obviously. You don't want to leave the other side totally bare. It's going to get super hot and crack, Okay. Don't do that. Also, don't stack your stoneware, okay? It will cause fractures in the stoneware, and then that will also cause it to crack, okay? If you do want to put your stoneware in the dishwasher, you can, just no soap. 
Okay, was that worth the price of admission right there? I'm just saying. Okay, because when I found that out, I was like, yes, that is what I want to know. Okay, the other thing, the Deep Cover Baker, it holds 12 and a half cups, okay? So you can do your soup, stews, and chilies, your whole chickens, um, mac and cheese, casseroles, all sorts of stuff in there. Pork tenderloin in 10 minutes. It's amazing. Look at this guy right here. Do you guys see this beautiful thing? This is the new color. Let me give you a little close up. A new color that's coming out September 1st. So I thought we'd christen it today and make a big old chicken in there. Um, with some potatoes and carrots. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. It's the easiest thing in the whole wide world. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Sherry. Um, okay, so back to stoneware. 450 degrees. It goes in the microwave and in the oven. It's 12 and a half cups. And that's pretty much all you need to know about stoneware, minus, you know, all the other t stuff I just said. So, all right. Rock crock right here. So these are the rock crocks. We also have a medium size. This is the smallest. This is the largest. And then we have a medium and a stone, like a, a grill pan. So this is like the pizza stone. Doesn't this look like the shape you guys all know and love from like back in the day? Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm just joking. Um, I can't sing. Mm -mm, can't sing at all. Um, so this is a rock crock grill stone. I hope you guys are laughing at me now because I'm laughing at myself. Um, the rock crock grill stone yesterday... I'm going to tell you all the stats on this um, Rock Crocs too, but yesterday I was at a party and they were like, Christina, why do you, why would you put any of this on the grill, right? Because this is grill, um, you can put this on the grill. So let me tell you, so if the power goes out, you could still cook on the grill. You could do your soup, stews, and chilies, your brats, your baked beans. Um, you can use this as a big old hot plate on the grill. Do your eggs and your bacon and your sausages for breakfast. Or you can use it like a big frying pan on your grill for like grilled cheese or anything. Okay, so this goes, hi Heather, hi Katie. Um, so this goes, rock rock, you ready? Mm hmm You ready for this? Microwave, if it fits. I mean, I don't even know if mine would fit in there, but if it fits, you could put it in there. Um, microwave. The oven, obviously, so you could do your pizzas on here. So let's say you guys don't like the other stoneware because you can't put soap on it. You could put soap on this because it goes in the dishwasher. Amazing, right? So it goes in the microwave, um, in the oven, on the stovetop if you have the right diameter for the stovetop, okay? Um, don't, like, try to be putting it on two different burners. Not going to work out. I think it has to be, like, very specific. So... Just use it on the grill. <laughs> um, but it goes on the grill, okay? It also goes under the broiler. Um, and it goes in the dishwasher. You guys, that's amazing. It also goes in the freezer and the fridge. So hello, Colstone Creamery. Make your own Colstone on your grill pan or your rock crock grill pan. So that's why the rock crocks are a little bit more pricey. But remember, you can always get your higher price items. You know, you could always buy them full price. You can, um, the second way is to get it at a party, host your own party, get it for your discounted or join my team. I mean, obviously that's the best choice because you can hang out with me more, but um, you could join the team. And then some of the Rock Crocs, actually we have a Rock Croc in two of our kits, but you can get a discount. Um, our Cambridge Chef discount is 20% off anything. And then we can also get um, all the items that are new half price one time. So just saying, there's a lot of benefits to joining the team. So really quick, the um, deep cover baker is 12 and a half cups. The rock crock, the largest, actually the largest right now is the four quart. It's also obviously 16 cups and that's also the equivalent to a gallon. So that is the difference between these two. This, the rock crock will hold a little bit more rather than the deep cover baker. Um, and the rock crock goes up, up to 752 degrees. I mean, that's why it's amazing, and it can go on the grill. So those are like the stats. That is the difference between the rock crock and the and the um, the deep cover baker or the stoneware. Um, the rock crock is also made out of a ceramic stoneware, so it's very similar to our stoneware. It, you guys see that that ring of stone down at the bottom. So it does have some kind of stoneware in there, um, and then it has this awesome glaze. So nothing really sticks to it. It's amazing. Um, this is our little guy. This is our Rock Crock casserole. And this month, you can actually get him for $39. So if you collect um, orders of $200, um, you can get him for $39. And I do have a special going on over my VIP page if you find the post. Um, if you find my VIP page, it's called Cooking with Christina and Pampered Chef. Um, and find the post and post on it because I'm giving away these um, this month when you collect $250 or more. 
uh, catalog party or virtual party. Okay, so go check it out. All right, so um, let's see. I ate my cookies. I made a sangria. I'm going to show you the chicken now. You guys ready for this? Because this, I mean, I didn't believe it when I first did it either, but it's pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do is show you guys. I'm going to use the new um, stone, okay? So whenever you get a piece of stoneware, you want to, did that answer all your questions about What's the difference between the rock cock and the deep cover baker? Do you guys have any questions? I'm just going to rinse this out for a second. Any questions out there about the rock cock or the deep cover baker? Don't be shy. There's no wrong question. No crazy. Hi, Erin. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Katie. Wait, did I say hi, Katie? Hi, Katie, if I didn't. Okay, so the really cool part about the stoneware, as soon as you get it, you want to oil it really well the first. That's another difference. When you get stoneware, it looks like this, right? Pretty and almost kind of white. Look at this one. This one I've used for so many years. It's darker. Um, so the first four or five times you use it, you want to put some oil in the um, stone or on the stone. When you get a rock crock, you don't have to do that. Okay, so the rock crock, super easy. You just throw your food in there and start picking it. Um, so I'm going to just put some oil on the bottom. And I'm going to, look you guys, how hilarious is this right here? Um, my friend Beth yesterday was at her party and she had she showed me gloves because she hates to touch chicken. And I thought about it and I was like, oh, I have gloves because I have lots of gloves in my closet from when I was sick and that nurse came over but anyway long story short oh how do we find more recipes yes Becky great question look at my gloves really quick hilarious <laughs> hi Pam hi Adriana okay Becky uh, how do you find more recipes perfect question so um, you can go to my website and then type in a product I do okay hold on I'm gonna come back to Sandy um, you can go to my website and type in a product. So just type in Deep Cover Baker or type in Rock Rock, and the products will come up. If you click on a product and then go up to the top, not the top, but the middle, it'll say um, products and then it'll say recipes. Click on the recipe, it'll show you all the recipes for that product. I mean, they make it that easy. Okay, um, I noticed you have a flat top stove, safe for grill pan. Absolutely, the grill pan goes, and any of our cookware goes on any kind of stove top. So glass, electric, gas, all of that. Okay, good questions. Christine, this is like maybe, this may be a new little thing for me. This is fun. Um, I did have another thing I wanted to share and now I forgot. Oh, I know. Okay, is anybody out there melting? It is so freaking hot outside. Um, I asked because I had someone order the grill pan and press it. Yay, that's awesome. Yeah, it goes on every kind of stove top. And all of our cookware, even the grill pan, goes in the oven. So just a little FYI. Um, but if anybody out there is melting, um, these are great recipes that you can do in your microwave. You don't have to turn your stove on. So there's a lot of them on my website. But this chicken, I'm actually going to do in the microwave in 35 minutes and then let it sit for 10 minutes. But my friend Kelly, uh, she was asking me questions earlier about a recipe, and I told her, do the fajitas. Oh, I love fajitas. Um, you just put your veggies at the bottom with some garlic and then throw your chicken breast on top. Season it real well. Microwave 15 minutes. Use your little salad choppy choppies, and you're done. It's amazing. So um, the other one, the new recipe I was thinking about making, but my husband, oh, he doesn't like quinoa. Whatever. Um, it's the Mexican quinoa bowl. I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to cut the recipe in half and try it out. But it's pretty much you make quinoa in the deep cover baker in like 15 minutes. Take it out, put all your veggies, um, stir it up, put it in there for like another 10 or something, and it's done. And then you could grill up some chicken or shrimp. Doesn't that sound amazing? Like who wouldn't want that? It is so hot in Alabama. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Well, I can because I've been there in July. Oh, wait, it's August now. I've been there in June, July. I might have been there in August, too. Um, but, yeah, so hot. Anybody else? Okay, good. Hi, Josie. Hi. Hi, Taj. Okay, it's hot in Long Island, too, Christine. I can imagine. I remember summers there. Okay, so here we go. So the grill, I mean, look, see, I only had one sip of that. See, that's why I don't want to go a whole lot. Okay, anyway, 
This is our chicken. I like to take all of the skin off the chicken. Okay, so this is like a naked little bird. So, oh wait, look, see, look, I keep talking. I'm not paying attention. Okay, I like to put our veggies in the bottom. Okay, so that was just carrots and potatoes. Look, in that olive oil, I'm just gonna toss it. You could totally press um, some garlic in there if you want. Um, but then I'd have to take my gloves off. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do that, okay? Totally press some garlic in there if you want. So then we're gonna take our chicken. We're gonna put the little wings, okay. I'm gonna put this in here. Put our wings underneath our guy here. Look, see, I don't even know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm just gonna leave him like that. He looks cool, right? Hanging out, chilling. All right, so this is like an almost six pound bird, you guys. This thing was huge, humongous. So hopefully he'll fit in there. But normally like a four to six pound chicken, you could fit in your deep cover baker, or you could totally use your rock cock. So most recipes that you do, um, you can use your rock cock or deep cover baker for, um, if it goes in the microwave or in the oven, okay? Um, remember, the rock cock goes on the stove top too. So I'm just gonna pour some oil on our chicken. All right, I'm gonna brush it all over. Let's see if I can find my little paste, pasting brush. We also have a, um, <laughs> you guys, I'm so not prepared to. Oh, there it is, I found it. Do you guys love this thing? Can you cook the chicken, no veggies? Of course you can. Just cut down on the time. Rosemary is your favorite. Ooh. Tell hubby it's diced rice. <laughs> no, girl, he knows. Um, speaking of rice, but anyway, really quick, this actually comes off. This whole little piece right here, it pops right off, but my hands are a little oily. So we're just going to paint our chicken. Just a little bit of oil. I took the skin, uh, the skin off, okay? So we just have our, um, our bird there. He's all naked. Let me show you. See that? No skin. Took it all off. Just cut it all off. Let's make sure this is going to go on here. Yes! Guys, I love this new deep cover baker. She's so pretty. Still holds the same amount. So I'm going to sprinkle, this is one of my favorite seasonings, favorite chef. This is the Smoky Barbecue Rub. And it's just going to give it an, an amazing flavor. Okay. Sprinkle it on there. And then sometimes I like to um, cut up a lime or a lemon and just throw it inside the chicken, okay? So I'm just gonna cut up my lemon, I need my lime here. All right, and just stick that guy right in there. Now I need to wash my hands. Shouldn't have taken off my gloves. Okay, so what do you guys think? That's it, so then you're gonna put that in the microwave not the oven for 14 hours so your house gets all hot painting the chicken. <laughs> I like to paint the chicken. Okay, so we're gonna put this, and by the way, this one is a lot lighter. The gray is a lot lighter than the red one. Um, okay, so we're gonna put this in here, all enclosed. Ooh, look at that. You guys could totally do this in the oven if you want, if it was winter time and you wanna heat your whole house up. But when it's summertime and it's a thousand degrees outside, who wants to do that, right? So we're gonna put that in there for 35 minutes. 36, because my microwave wants to do 36. Okay, hi Sharon, hi Kim, hi Cheryl. This is so fun, you guys. I made a spritza, look at that. Anyway, do you guys have any questions about what I just did with the chicken? Okay, good. Okay, right, so um, in that case, this video is way too long, <laughs> but I shared a lot of information. So if you guys want, um, if you missed some of it, go back and watch it. Lots of great info on the difference between your rock crock and your your, girl, uh, your stoneware. Um, information on how to make a sangria, an individual one, and information on these amazing Oreo thins. I'm just saying, I'm going to eat another one. Okay, so I, oh, is the new one wider or taller? Um, no, it's actually a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner. So, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, guys, 
I'm gonna go. I'll post a picture of my chicken when it's all done, but um, the chicken is gonna cook nicely. It's gonna be like falling off the bone goodness. And then there's gonna be tons of uh, chicken broth left in the deep, the deep cover baker. So what you can do with that leftover chicken broth, you obviously wanna take all the potatoes and the carrots out. Those will be ready to eat. And then your potatoes, you could smash them up and add some sour cream and butter and cheese and bacon. Oh, so good. Or, my battery keeps telling me it's dying. Yay, love that. Um, or you can, and then the broth, you can um, leave it in the stone. Take your chicken out and your veggies. Uh, leave the broth and then you could add rice to it or stovetop or whatever you want and cook your side dish right in the stone that you just used to cook your chicken. So really all in one easy dish, okay? So message me, you guys. Remember three ways to get products. You can buy them on my website. You can host your own party, get them for your discounted, or you could join my team because a lot of them come in the kit and you could try out your own business. So hi, Rhonda. Okay, so I'm going to go. Um, I'll post pictures when my chicken is done, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, and don't melt out there. Don't go outside. It's too hot. Bye.